senioritis. It's it's a scary thing. Um, I don't think I've personally experienced it yet, but I have a few friends that they've been diagnosed with it. Their, their grades they just just started to slip and they couldn't catch back up. And, What do you think about senioritis? Well, I always heard people talk about it, but I never believed that it was real. Until one day in class it just hit me, like a train. A big train. A really big train. What do you think about senioritis? <laughs> senioritis? You know, the name always confused me because it's like, it's almost exclusively for seniors and I've had it since sophomore year, you know, and um, it's a very real disease. Uh, you know, some people think you can just play it off, but next thing you know, you're still in bed and it's nine in the morning and you're watching Netflix eating cereal. You know, it's, it's traumatizing to say the least. Um, yeah, that, that one hits me right in the, right in the heart. Senior eyes to me. It's kind of like listening to Drake on a lonely Saturday night. Sitting there by yourself, not wanting to do anything. All you do is want to cry. It's tough. You know, it's, uh, it's hard going to school. So what do you know about senior eyes? It's a very real thing, you know? It's, it's very scary. You know, it, I have it, and it hits me hard. I remember the first time I realized I had it. Very traumatizing experience for me. I went to IHOP one morning. Now, I woke up and I wanted to go get some pancakes. You know, all I wanted was some pancakes. It was about seven o'clock in the morning and it was the early bird special. They were there. Who were they? Senior citizens. I was so scared. I couldn't believe what was going on. I couldn't breathe. Do you know what senior is? Fear of senior citizens, right? No. What am I doing here? I'm out of here. Think of senioritis. Se senioritis? I I've heard of it. Uh, I don't have it, though. Uh, many of my friends do have it. But I'm not, I haven't fallen prey to that disease yet. You know, I'm just sitting here do, doing notes, just chilling, you know, working hard on my schoolwork and everything like that. You know, I should get back to it. I don't think I've been affected by it, you know. You know I, I find myself at Dunkin' Donuts every morning somehow, but, you know. I don't think I have it. Uh, I've gone to the doctor, they said I'm all good and, and that I'm free and that I'm okay, but but my friends, they just, they didn't stand a chance and, and I don't know what to do. What time do you usually go to Dunkin' Donuts? Uh, normally I go during first period, sometimes in a second. First, second, oh my God. Oh my God, I have it. The symptoms are coming up. I go, I leave school, first period to go to Dunkin' Donuts. And I didn't think I had it. I, I didn't think, oh my God. I just, I didn't think I had it. So uh, what's your opinion on senioritis? Yeah, wake up, yeah, I know. Dude, I'm too tired and hungry. Oh. You wanna go? You wanna go get some McDonald's? For real? Let's go. <laughs> oh, guys, guys, hold on. We gotta. We have an interview. Gotta finish this up real quick. You're killing me. <laughs> oh. So, uh, what's uh, your opinion on senioritis? What's senioritis, dude? You know, it's uh, in your senior year when you just don't feel like doing anything. You know, you always leave school, stuff like that. 
you don't do your work because you know you're a senior and you'll be fine anyway. Mm -hmm. No. Bro, get off Twitter. What? Interview. <laughs> Personally, I, I don't. I don't think I have senioritis. I mean, do you know anybody that has senioritis? Not, not really. I mean, I only miss first period like every day to go to McDonald's consistently. Okay, maybe I do have senioritis. I've, I've had it since, since sophomore year. My family and I. I. Bro, it's all right. Just tell me. My friends and family have given me two interventions, and things aren't looking so good so right now. Bro, you're gonna get through it. it happens to everyone. It happens to the best of us.